first when I tell people that I say that I done the, pro the program at Disney World, sometimes I say I lived at Disney World for six months and they're like, you lived at Disney World? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Not lying, I legit lived at Disney World. Um, and I mean, I just tell them my experience and how fun it was and how there were some challenges. We did quick service food and beverage and all I did was serve guests at a resort at All Star Movies. At Rialto we had dessert, so we had cookies and ice creams and all that and cupcakes. At Roxy we had burgers and fries. And then at, what was the other one? I forgot the other name, but we served sandwiches, like cold sandwiches, like turkeys and stuff like that. And then the other shop was a pizza shop and we served pizza and pastas. Um, it was from January 29th and it was actually supposed to end May 17th, but I decided to extend, so I stayed until July. I know I really liked working with the veteran. The, the ones who were not college internship people. Um, I learned a lot from them and they gave me a lot of tips as far as, you know, the guests and serving and make sure that I'm fast. Um, you know, at Disney, you always have to keep a smile on your face. There was this one guest, she was from Italy and she, what, her husband kind of knew English and her daughter did not know English. She was the only one who knew. And um, I remember she her first night or her first day she came to my line because I was cash register that was my favorite and she we were just chopping it up and talking about Disney and what there is to do with Disney and this and any other and how this is her first trip and what I that I guess she had like in the in the in the hotel rooms they had the coffee machine but they did not have the cups and you know you have to make the guests happy and I would always give her coffee cups for free and, I mean, yeah, you, you can make guests happy in any way, shape, or form. She will always come to my line, and we'd be like, we will always, like, her entire family will always come to my line. And I felt like we were the best of friends. So, when, like, by the end of her week, by the end of her vacation, when she told me she was about to leave, like, it really made me sad. <laughs> and, like, we hugged and everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really gonna miss you. I felt like they were the, my favorite guests that I've ever had. So, if I ever visit Italy, maybe I'll come across them sometime. That'd be awesome. I have, um, what is it? college program people that I met at All-Star Movies that I, um, what, one girl was all the way from Singapore and I'm like, she was the sweetest, her name was Guanxi, she was the sweetest and I told her, I'm getting my passport this year so expect me in Singapore sometime in the next couple of years. <laughs> yes. My biggest challenge was definitely, I had never done quick service before so that's like, that's like fast food. Never done it before ever in my life. Uh, <laughs> so keeping up with the demands and making sure that I ask guests if they had everything. Definitely take advantage of the moment. You're never gonna get an experience like that ever again. You get free admission to all the parks. Um, you get a discount and stuff like that. But um, just take advantage of the experience. I, there, I still have withdrawals. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody else who's done the college program does too. Um, whatever role that you're going into, like, before I went down there and I was told that I was doing quick service, like I said, never done fast food before, so I decided to apply to McDonald's and get a taste of it. Yeah, so I would recommend maybe getting a taste of what your potential role may be. My favorite parks are Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios is my favorite because when you go to Hollywood Studios, it's like, it's like classic Hollywood. I've seen classic Hollywood all over the pictures and the movies and stuff like that, so to see it, at Disney World, it just, it's a whole different feel. I'm turning 22 years old, my first time going to Disney World, my sister did the program, she brought me down. And, you know, they have the happy birthday buttons. And I got so much attention on my birthday, and it made me the happiest person. Granted, it wasn't really my birthday. My birthday was the day after. But, <laughs> I got so much attention, and everybody just, just said happy birthday to me and everything. Um, magical moments, I don't think I ever got a magical moment. Wait, no, I did, I did. Princess Tiana was out for the rest of the day and I really, really, really wanted to see her. Really wanted to see her, like I said, my first time going to Disney World and everything. And it made a way for me to go see Mag uh, Princess Tiana. Um, My sister worked her magic. I mean, you know, cast member, but you know, she was, she was a guest that day. So she worked her magic and magical moment. As a guest, most definitely, I'm going next year. Um, after my sister's graduation, we're staying for a week. And then uh, for a career, probably not. Yes, there's a lot of other stuff that I want to do. I learned a lot from Disney, like 
personality wise and everything and I really appreciate what I've learned because it's made me a better person but yeah I have other stuff to do so like my last night at Disney I was like really sad just watching happily ever after I I wanted to cry and I felt like I was gonna cry but I didn't cry because I guess I just didn't want to cry I don't know <laughs> but yeah I, I really miss Disney so Appreciate the moment, take advantage of that. <laughs> Cause that is, you're in the real world now. Like after you get out of your program, it's back to the real world. You don't live in a fantasy world. I was living in a bubble, <laughs> a legit Disney bubble.